it's the back end of April now and I feel like I'm just getting a little bit behind on sowing certain seeds. The sweet corn, Swift F1 variety, are definitely going in today, as is that Yukon Gold seed potato. I'll also be potting on some uh, courgettes and the squash and I don't know, um, whatever else takes my fancy within this video. I've got 12 of these 9 centimeter pots, all filled up with multi-purpose compost, nothing special. And yeah, let's uh, first examine sweet corn seed, pretty standard fare. Just going to place one in each pot, poke them in. Cover them up slightly. Water. And wait. Hopefully with the weather being the way it is at the moment, these will be up within a, a week or so. Famous last words. We'll probably get a cold spell now. And that's the sweet corn sown. How easy was that? I don't think you guys need any more instructions on how to plant our potatoes. We've all done it uh, long enough now. Here's my Yukon Gold. This will just be for my record. I've only got a really small pot, this seven and a half litre pot. So uh, it's, yeah, that's it. It's better than nothing. Right, here we go. The potato fertilizer mixed in. The blood, fish, and bone. Mix everything together. Set to gas mark 125. Pop it in the oven for four hours. You'll have potatoes. Only joking. Only joking. Yeah, let me just add a bit more compost to that pot. There we go. That's Mr. Yukon Gold planted up. I've got two butternut squash plants to pot on. Here's the first. I'll show you me doing this one and then I won't put you through the pain of doing the second one. I need to add a bit more compost in the bottom there. Let's just see how that sits. That's pretty good. Now all I need to do is fill in the sides. Everybody does it this way, don't they? Anyway, I'll just get on with it. Press all the compost in around the sides. Getting rid of all those air pockets. We need to add a bit more. There we go. Squeeze the butternut squash plant out. There it is, and you've created a perfect hole for it to sit in. Firm it down. And repeat the process with the second butternut squash. Right, the plan now is to stop messing around at home and go up to a plot and mess around. Buttons. Always struggle with buttons. Look how lush and green everything has become. Oh, I love spring. Summer is just around the corner. Let's just take a little sit down before I go out into the sun 
and crack on. Um, the allotment site's fairly busy today. I guess it's the blue skies and sunshine that's brought everybody out. Um, as I opened up the gate here, I saw a female blackbird with a big worm in her beak and she was bouncing around my shed. So I've checked my shed just to see if she's made a nest in there because you, well, little critters can get in there because there's a gap at the back of it. Um, but I can't see anything, so, hmm. I don't want to disturb her too much, but needs must, and I've got to get stuff planted out and watered and strimmed. Anyway, what am I talking about? Just a load of rubbish. Right, I am going to get on with stuff. Neighbours on plots wondering who I'm talking to at the moment. I've brought this bad boy up. I don't think I've got much plastic wire left on the spool. Let's fire it up and uh, at least cut some of the grass and the weeds up here on the plot. Okay, so at this point, while you admire my strimming skills and my shins, let me explain. My plot neighbours turned up, so I had to stop talking into the camera because I didn't want to look an idiot, basically. So this is me talking to you in post-production. Get me. While I half-heartedly go about some work on the plot, as you can see. Now then, here we're looking at stinging nettles. And for those of you that don't have this particular plant in your part of the world, they do exactly what they say on the tin. They sting you if you touch them. And like an idiot, I got too close to them today. Hopefully you can see that I've been stung on my forearm by the bumps. They're not deadly, they're just painful. This, on the other hand, although it looks like a stinging nettle, it's not. It's called a dead nettle, and it's completely harmless and safe to touch, as you can see. I mean, randomly stroking the leaves. All right, moving on. This is a row of Swedes looking okay, pest free. The pigeons like to get at these, but can't at the moment because of my awesome defense. Sweet peas next, grown from seed at home, planted out and protected from the rabbits by this mesh. There we go. Well, I think the thumb means I'm happy with this. The onions, looking thirsty, but rabbit free more importantly. Right, oh, okay, right, we're on to the next shot apparently. There we go. Another angle of the onion. Yes, yes, we get it, Adam. The onions are fine. Move on to the next shot, please. Looks like we're on to the beetroot seedlings now. In a nice straight row. What more can we say about it? God, this is a long clip. Surely I can edit this down? No? Oh, thank God. Right, let's have a look at the turnips. And they have shot up. Oh, right now we're looking at a line of lettuce, it appears. They're doing okay. But you can see them very well. Looks like it's the broccoli's turn to be in the spotlight. Green and caterpillar free. Yes. Right, what's he up to now then? Digging. By the looks of it. Right. Are you going to plant something? Are you going to let us know what you're up to? No, just wander off then. Don't worry about us. We're having to sit here and watch this. <sighs> Seriously. Oh, all right. Okay, so we're planting out the globe artichoke, it seems. Thanks for letting us know. There we go. Put it in the same place as where the last one died. Cover it up. 
Yep. Come on, cover it up. Okay, I think it's covered up now. Leave it alone. Leave it alone, please. Yeah, thank you. What are we doing? Uh, we're watering now. Very important. Give it a big old drink. Yeah, perfect. Now what? Seriously, what's happening now? Should we just chat to Adam? Let's do that. Well, that's me done. I'll put the plot on my way home now. Oh, man, I'm tired. Whew. Yeah, I had to uh, continue filming but not talking because plot neighbours turned up and you don't want to look an idiot talking into the camera. Yeah, you just don't want to look an idiot. Anyway, thank you for joining me if you have. Remember to hit that like button, share, comment and please do subscribe. Until the next video, bye for now.